Okay, let's go um, really quick over the footer and the custom menus. So to create your custom menu, you would go into Appearances menus. And as you can see right now, we have several of them created. The header menu is your main menu on the site. Um, the shop menu is for your shop. And if you can see right here, we have test menu, start treating, and useful links. So here's your start treating, test menu, and useful links. Um, all you have to do if you need to add another menu, all you have to do is click on this little plus, give it a title, click create menu, and select the pages you want to shop in there. Um, you can select from the treatments area, you can select a category from your blog, whatever you want to put in there. Click on add to menu. The items will show up in here. Click on save. And then to put it in the footer, all you have to do is go under appearances, widgets. Click on footer widgets. And you can either use the existing one and just change the title of it. And then select from a drop down the menu that you just created, which is testing. Click on save. And if we refresh the page, here it is. Here's the testing. You can also move the widgets around to change the order. There we go. So we move them around. I know it looks a little weird uh, for, as far as the spacing goes, but really there's nothing we can do because it really depends on the length of the, the titles in each menu element. So you can play around just moving them around to see um, which, which menu and which items fit better. Um, if we fix the position of these elements then you won't be able to place any other widgets in here in the, um, in the footer area because right now if we delete this, um, let's do delete this one here. Most of the basic or standard um, WordPress widgets work here. We made them all active. So for example, if you wanted to place categories widget, you can just drag it in here, give it a title. And then click on save. Refresh the page. <laughs> there it is. Now you have a ton of categories, so maybe that wasn't the right example, but if we go back in here and maybe do it as shows a drop down. Refresh. There you go. So you get the idea. So as I said, we cannot uh, fix the the size of each widget because then other widgets will not work within that specific sizing um, area. Okay, I think this is it for the uh, menus.